Welcome to the first part of ReactJS optimization techniques where I'll be discussing important ways to optimize the performance of your React app. In this series, the first is memoization. Memoization is a term used in computing for optimizing the performance by storing the results of expensive functions and returning the cache results. Let's understand this concept with the help of a small example. I have created an application where we have few components. We have the header, a display counter, a display flag component, the change button, change flag button and a footer. Now observe this. When I refresh this page, it says all the components are rendered in this order. First the header, then the DC, then DF. Then change state component two times as counter and flag are rendered and finally the footer is rendered. Now let's try to change the value of the counter. When I clicked on the change counter, it actually changed only this section, right? But in spite of just one section getting changed, every component gets re-rendered again. This is where the problem is, where you need to optimize your app. When the counter is changed, it should not call the header, footer or even the flag render. It should render the respective component only. This is where React Memo can be a great help. To solve this, the only thing you need to do is that when you export the component, just add React Memo so that component will not be called unnecessarily. Right now, I am adding React Memo in every component quickly. I am reloading the page again and all the components are rendered respectively. Now let me click on the change counter and you see that only one component is getting rendered. Ideally you should use use callback with react memo whenever required. That concept I have discussed in one of my video in the react hooks section. You can go and check it out later. Also, you can check out my best-selling Udemy course on React, which has a huge collection of interview questions asked in real-world scenarios.